I'm Sophie. Hi, I'm Sarah. And we're Sophie and Sarah. Thank you for joining us today on this video. Now let's get right into the video. Woo! Hey guys, and welcome back to another Sophie Sunday. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing two different kinds of art markers. The first being the well-known Crayola Super Tips in the 50 pack, and the second being the popular Ohuhu markers in the 120 pack. So I'm going to be comparing these so that you guys can decide for yourselves which type of marker is worth it for you to buy for what you're doing in your art. I'm going to be doing several different comparisons. The first I'm going to talk about right now, which is price. So um, the Crayola Super Tips in the 50 pack came out to $7 at Target, while the Ohuhu set of 120 markers came out to $100 on Amazon. This is a very big price difference, but there's also a big difference in the number of markers that I have in each kind. So for direct comparison, the Crayola Super Tips come out to about 14 cents a marker, and the Ohuhu markers come out to about 83 cents per marker. So that is a much more direct comparison between the two brands. So without further ado, let's get into the testing of each of the markers. As you can see on this paper here, these are the different categories that I will be testing, which are marker tip, blending, color vibrance, and color variation. So I'll be comparing the two markers against each other in these different categories and rating each one out of 10. So first, the marker tip. This is the Crayola Super Tips, and as you can see, the marker tip is able to do thin lines as well as thick lines with pretty good control. So I decided to give that a rating of eight out of 10. And then for the Ohuhu markers, there is a brush tip as well as a chisel tip. And that provides a lot of variation, which is great for filling in lines as well as other detail work. So I gave that a better rating the than the Crayolas, even though the control was a little less than the Crayolas. So I gave the Ohuhu marker tip a nine out of 10. The next category I tested was blending, and as you can see, I put two colors similar to each other next to each other and then blended them. And with the Crayolas, they are water-based, so with the water, they degrade the paper below them, so a lot of paper residue comes up on your fingers, and so you can't get a, as good of a blend because the paper just continues to degrade. But with alcohol markers like Ohuhu's, it doesn't degrade the paper, so you can blend for as long as you want, and not much will happen. The Crayolas got a 6 out of 10, and the Ohuhu's got a 9.5 out of 10, because nothing's perfect. The next test I did was color vibrance, so I did this by testing the colors from each set that I thought were the boldest and the brightest, and just pitting them against each other and seeing which I thought was better. So the Crayolas got a 10 out of 10 because some of those colors were very unique and very bright. The Ohuhu markers have a lot of color variation, which is very good for markers, but none of the colors stood out to me as being super bold. But they still got a 9.5 out of 10 because the colors are just beautiful. For color variation, I decided to use skin tones to see if there are enough usable skin tones in the pack to count as variation. So for the Crayolas, there weren't very many usable skin tones because pink doesn't really work and that greenish brown didn't work either. Um, however, the Ohuhu markers worked very well as skin tones, so they got a 10 out of 10. So just as a recap, the Crayola Super Tips marker tip got an 8 out of 10 because although there is just one type of marker tip, it was pretty versatile. For the Ohuhu markers, the marker tip got a 9 out of 10 because there were two marker tips that made it pretty versatile so you could do a lot of different line types. For the blending, the Crayola Super Tips got a 6 out of 10 because although the colors blended pretty nicely, the more marker you put on, the more it degraded the paper, which was not good. And the Ohuhu markers blended pretty nicely and did not degrade the paper. For color vibrance, Crayola got a 10 out of 10 because many colors were very bold and bright and beautiful. And the Ohuhu markers got a 9.5 out of 10 because although the colors are beautiful, some of them weren't so vibrant. 
the color variation, the Crayola Super Tips got a 6 out of 10 because there weren't enough skin colors that are usable. And the Ohuhu markers got a 10 out of 10 because there are a lot of usable skin colors and great color variation. And on that note, let's move on to the drawing. For the coloring in piece, I decided to do Ariel, Flounder, and Sebastian from The Little Mermaid because there are many vibrant colors in the piece, as well as skin tones, and this will really help you to decide which markers are worth it for you to buy. So let's get started with the coloring. This is the final product of the Crayola version of this coloring. So I did some blending, such as in Ariel's hair, her skin, and on her tail. Some of the blending worked out, such as in the hair, but some of it really didn't, such as in the tail, where all of the colors kind of just messed together. However, I will give credit where credit is due, in that Crayola has many colors which were all necessary for this drawing, even though this pack had less than half of the colors that the Ohuhu marker set has, and it delivered in the amount of colors and the variation of colors I needed to do this drawing, which I am very, very happy with. So with that said, let's move on to the Ohuhu markers version. Here is the final product of both of the colorings. So let's talk about the Ohuhu markers. As you can see here, the skin is very well blended and looks very realistic, which is good. And all of the colors here really pop, which is nice. And especially on the tail, let's compare the two different drawings. The Ohuhu markers, you can really see the accuracy of the colors and how they blend together to make the image really look 3D and like it had some sort of lighting going on with it, which I thought was really cool. And even with Flounder, Flounder on the left looks more like a 2D image, while Flounder on the right looks just a little bit more like a 3D image. And the same with Ariel's hair. Ariel's hair on the left looks a little streaky, even though I did get some blending in there, which was really nice. On the right, it definitely looks like it flows better and looks more 3D and realistic. So I overall am really happy with both of the images, and I had all of the colors I needed in both packs, which was really great. So I think it's up to you guys to decide now which marker you prefer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned about the differences between Crayola Super Tips and Ohuhu markers and now have a basis to form a decision whether you think the Ohuhu markers are worth it to buy or if you'd rather stick with the good old trusty Crayola Super Tips. Um, let me know what you pick and what your thoughts are on this. And also, let me know if you want me to make more of these kinds of videos, because this is really fun for me to make. So, with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you for watching this video by Sophie and Sarah. There's another video you may enjoy right here, and you can click right here to subscribe for more sunshine and stupidity. And you can click the notification bell to get an alert anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!